Mark, we'll just get straight to it, I think. We've got the cookbook. We've got Sonny Bill Williams' recipe. This is going to be a treat today, isn't it? That's oh, going to be fantastic. We've got uh, the classic fish pie. Oh, yeah. You know, we've got a pastry topping. We're going to make a nice bechamel, cook the fish in there, pop it all in the oven. It's great. I've just been flicking through the book, and there's some fantastic recipes in there. Yeah, I'm sure. And we're going to learn more about that book, too, throughout the show. Well, I am looking forward to this. Great to have you with us. We're in the Beko kitchen, and although he couldn't be here, which is kind of sad, isn't it? We will be channeling Sonny Bill Williams today <laughs> and making his fish pie from this very cool new book which we just heard about. So great recipes and a great cause. We're going to try and attempt the fish pie. If Sonny Bill Williams can do it, I'm sure we can. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what else is that guy good at, you know? Uh, anyway, I won't start the list. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're gonna, um, what we do now is we're going to make a bechamel for the... Uh, you know, for the oh, yeah. filling of the uh, fish pie. Cool. But what we need to do is um, flavour the milk. Okay. So we've got some milk going in there. Yes. We've got some peppercorns you can pop in. Okay. Bay leaves. Bay leaves. That goes in. Mm -hmm. So they can all go in whole, because we'll actually uh, strain all this out. Okay, great. So uh, parsley stalks. So using all the parsley in the oh, Okay, the piece, add more flavour. There you add go. Add more flavour. I've got a little bit of onion as well. Nice. And it's just, yeah. we, don't, we want to stir it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't if want you to want to, Mike. <laughs> and just see Sonny Bill Williams actually whipping up some meals at home. He's that type of guy, isn't he? If you watch his Instagram account, he does all sorts of things at home. Okay. I'm stalking him. <laughs> <laughs> that, did sound, that did sound a little creepy. <laughs> he does all sorts Recent. of things at home. <laughs> right, so what we want to do, bring this up to the boil. Turn it off and then just let it uh, let it steep and let it infuse. Get all those flavours through the milk for about okay. five ten minutes, and then we're going to strain it off. Okay, let it steep, steep, okay. and then uh, and then we're going to be ready to make our bechamel. So that's another French word. Yes. Another French uh, um, cooking term. Bechamel. A bechamel. Yes, it so is. That's a base sauce actually. Okay, nice. Didn't so know so that. you make a base sauce and you can add lots of different flavours uh, and ingredients in there and create many different sauces from this. Brilliant. Okay, nice. Been on Google. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got some uh, butter. So basically it's butter and flour, right? So you want to stir the butter around with your whisk. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get that to melt. And then we've got our flour, and then we're just going to incorporate it together and make sure it's all mixed in. Kay. And then what we're going to do is gradually add the milk in and we'll get a nice, smooth, creamy, rich sauce. And we just want to just want to keep cooking it until that flour is fully cooked. And you can just test it by keep tasting it. Um, and then you won't get a floury mixture. Right, so you're basically cooking the flour out, isn't you? So this is the yep. most important part, is the mixing of the butter and the flour. You get this, this is, wrong, this is the most, yeah, cool. This is the most important part of the whole recipe. <laughs> <laughs> if you mess this up, you mess this recipe You're in up. trouble. And I'm sure is going to come and rugby tackle you or punch you. <laughs> wow. That'd be a good segment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was going to say, wouldn't be opposed to that, to be honest. <laughs> right, okay. so um, so fast forward, so we've, uh, we've brought it up to the boil, we've turned it off, we've infused it, we've got all that flavour in the milk, and then all you need to do is just uh, pour it through a sieve, and then you can take out all those, um, you know, flavourings in that. Okay, right. I'm worried about this. Is this right? Is it what we need to be? Oh, what have you done there? No, no, it's looking good. I just don't <laughs> want to mix it too. No, no, much. no, that's good. That's good. Right now, we can, yeah, yeah. Now we can turn the heat down a little bit. Okay. And what you want to do is just want to gradually add this in. So you want to keep stirring, mm -hmm. and make it smooth. So just a little bit at the beginning, and because it's really hot, it's going to go in quite fast. Okay. Yeah. So you get it in, and then a little bit more. Okay. Nice. And then just, just keep doing it. A bit like the pancakes yesterday. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it makes me so nervous doing this. I've mucked up a few of these bechamel sauces over the year. You know he's watching this. The year. Sorry, Sonny. And then you can, uh, you can add a little bit more. So just sort of gradually work that um, milk into it. Okay. And you should have a nice smooth sauce after. You will, you will. It's, it's getting yeah, there. Yeah, no, you're getting there. So you can add a little, <laughs> little bit more at least. <laughs> I've never been so nervous before. Don't want to let you okay. down, Mark or Sonny Bill. Okay, now we're getting there. Yeah, so you just, if you work that in now, um, you know, it will really loosen down. But as you as we bring it up to the boil and simmer it and cook that flour out, it will um, it will thicken and slightly. Right, put, enough chit chat, put some more in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. I haven't ruined this. No, no, so get it all nice and smooth. Go and whisk it. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And then, so just bubble it out, and it'll probably take about sort of, you know, maybe about sort of eight to ten minutes or so, just on a low heat. But okay, you can see how smooth good. that is. Yeah. yeah, that's great. That's great. And you've got all that flavour in there. Uh, and then we might even add a little bit more milk just to loosen it slightly, because we're going to put the fish in later. Okay, nice. Um, 
<laughs> Can I sit down? <laughs> yeah, I need to sit down. I need a break. We'll finish off the sunny Bill Williams fish pie in just a couple of minutes. This is an inspirational <laughs> creation inspired by a brilliant cookbook and also Sonny Bill Williams. He is a contributor and this is his recipe. Fish pie, yum. Okay, how's the sauce looking? Beautiful. Good. It'd, it'd be very happy with that. It's really okay, good. Nice. It's nice and smooth, great consistency. It's cooked out. Right, we need to give it a quick season. Okay, so salt and pepper. Flavor. Yep, yeah, salt and pepper in there. I've got some parsley, which I'm just chopping. And then a little bit of uh, lemon zest you can just grate on the uh, fine grater. And do you mind if it's keep bubbling away here? You need no, no, to keep you bubbling? Can, no, you can keep it on a low heat now. Okay, It's going to get those flavours in there now. And then we've got some fish. So nice white fish, you know, whatever you've got hold of. Um, snapper, terrakey, anything like that. Even harpook is really nice. Or even smoked fish if you want, you know, whatever, whatever you've got lying around. Okay, so anything or, that's firm, really. Yeah, or yeah. whatever you've caught. Okay, nice. You know, you can put some prawns in there. Yeah. I'm changing his recipe now. Aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> and then all I'm going to do with the fish is just, um, I'm just going to cut it into nice little chunks. And why do we put it in chunks? So it cooks evenly? Uh, easier to serve up? Yeah, just so we've got some texture in the sauce, you know. We've got a nice thick creamy sauce and you just want to, you know, when you eat it, you want those nice chunks of oh, fish, yeah. you know. Yeah, okay. so it's pie. not going to take, yeah. take too long to cook because we've got the uh, pastry topping on top, so that's going to go into a hot oven, probably about 180, 200 degrees for about sort of uh, 15, 15 to 18 minutes or so. Great. You know, so we're just going to put it in, coat it around, make sure the filling's all nice and seasoned and then we're going to pop it into our um, uh, pie tin and then we can uh, put our pastry on top. Okay, so technically it's not really a pie, is it? Because the pastry would go all around a pie. It's just fish it's pie with now, the pastry right? top. <laughs> yeah, take that, Sonny. <laughs> God, you're brave. Um, it's a pie in my books. <laughs> no, no, actually, that's how they do pies in Europe, actually, isn't it? It's just yeah, a bit of pastry lazy, on top. Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, you could do, you could line it with pastry and put the pastry on the top, that'd be really nice. Nice. But you've got quite, um, you know, got, you've got... quite creamy yeah, as you've well. Got, you've got quite a, mo a moist pie sort of yeah. filling, so I mean, it's good, you know, if you put the if you put the pastry around the sides as well, you know, you just, you might run the risk of making it quite soggy. No, you're right, no one likes a soggy bum, do they? <laughs> okay, you keep rolling there. And right, you pop it in there. Oh, you pop it in? Okay, cool. Don't need to line it first or anything? No, 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 no it's straight in. Great. Oh, look at that. Absolutely brilliant. Looks fantastic. And then ideally, if you've got a little bit more time at home, just allow that to cool down because if you're going to put start putting pastry on top of that, it's going to um, it's going to go really soft, and you're not going to have a lot of time to work with it. Oh well, yeah, we've got a nice thick creamy sauce going there. Now, look, while you're doing that, let's just take a look at some very cool pictures from the New Zealand Rugby Stars cookbook. So we're going to start. This is Kieran Reid's recipe. So these are ex All Blacks, current All Blacks. Also, we've got some of the female players as well. They've all they've all contributed to this book. Sir Graham Henry's recipe: apple and black currant sponge. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? There you go, there's the fish pie. And this is our fish pie, this is what it's going to look like at the end of it. <laughs> uh, well, Hopefully. It'll, it's all about the tasting as well, actually, to be honest. Okay, so the pastry's rolled out. Right, pastry's rolled out. Ideally we wanted to cool this down slightly. Yeah, so, so roll the pastry out a little bit bigger than your, your pie tin. And you know, we'll keep it nice and rustic, so I'm just going to crimp it against the okay. side of the tin. You know, leave that overhang on that um, lap, and then We'll get it in a hot oven. We're going to egg wash it as well. And, uh, you know, you can be a bit fancy with this. If you've got pastry left over, you can do a nice, like, lattice effect on top. Or we could carve a fish in there. We could do anything we want. I'd put some goalposts on that. <laughs> <laughs> and little pastry, yeah. <laughs> and a little rugby ball. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's what I want. OK, okay, okay. I'll, yeah, I'll leave it up to you. And, of course, if you want the recipe, you can get it on our website. Or why not grab a copy of the New Zealand Rugby Stars cookbook and you will be helping to support those players who have been catastrophically injured. Speaking of brilliant, we have done Sonny Bill Williams proud with his fish pie, haven't we, Mark? Yeah, look, I reckon it's turned out pretty well. Look at that. Oh, I get it. Yeah, let's compare. So that's your one. This is his one. Oh, oh I know which one's better. Mark, there. what does your say? What does no, it's, say? it's a goal. It's a rugby post and a ball. Oh, OK. Good, good, good. good. <laughs> not, not Christmas okay. reference. Yeah, okay, bring it over. over. <laughs> and can I just say also thanks to Connor, Autumn and Vienna for yeah, all your hard work. Guys. You guys have been an awesome addition to the show today. Loved it. You came for some fish pie? Yeah? OK, good. Yes, <laughs> yes they are. Absolutely. What are you cooking tomorrow? <laughs> right, tomorrow I'm joined by Greg Piner and we're cooking Aura King's Yum.